Hey, what's going on guys? And uh, today I'm going to be making a tutorial, and if you can't already tell from the title, it's going to be how to install a Minecraft mod. Now, this is a pretty simple thing that most people that play Minecraft should know how to do, but uh, I've recently experienced something with my brother, and he said he, 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 j he wants this mod, um, and my friend wants it as well, and they, they don't know how to install a mod, so this is partially for him, partially for the other people that don't really know how to do that. So. Yeah, this should help a lot of people, um, because I've seen it in the comments as well, and it, I've had a mod installed, they're like, how do you install it? So, this is basically just kind of a generic tutorial that should help a lot of people out. So, right, the first thing you're going to want to do is download WinRAR. It's basically, it basically allows you to install the mod. So, that's basically all you need to know if you're not very advanced with computers. I could explain it a little bit more in, in depth, but, um, yeah, it, it, that's all you pretty much need to know. Uh, this is the RAW lab. This is RAW lab where you download WinRAR. I'll leave that in the description so you guys can get there easily. And you want to find your language. I'll just find English. Where is it? Uh, it's over here somewhere. There it is, English. So there'll be a 64 and 32 bit version. Um, if you are kind of, you know, how to use a computer quite well, you should know the difference between a 32 bit and a 64 bit program. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and you don't know what version your com your operating system is, just go for the 32-bit. That should work on any version. So I've already got that installed, so we can just close that down for now. Right, next, you want to find your mod. I'm using too many items. So you want to just type it in on Google. It's really easy. Type it in, go on the website, click download, and you should come up with AdFly or Media Mediafire or something like that. I'm using AdFly, so you just want to click here. It should download. You can close that down. And we'll put this on our desktop. Okay, so as you can see, it's got the WinRAR logo. So if we just open this up, as you can see, just click that. This is basically our mod, and it's lots of different files, and they look a bit confusing, but um, you should understand them after I've showed you the next bit. Okay, so what you want to do now, we'll just close this down. What you want to do, press start. It'll be a little bit different if you're on Windows 8, but um, any other version of Windows, it should be. The you know pretty much the same you want to type in percent app data percent okay and you should get this is roaming files here you want to basically if you're on Windows 8 you want to find a way of finding your roaming files or your app data files and your roaming files should be in there um, but if you're on an if you've got this um, search function just type percent app data percent click enter and if I just drag this across you should get this uh, window here and there'll be a bunch of things in here, it'll basically be a load of your games because all your games basically save into your roaming files so you want to go to dot .minecraft which usually default is the top one so if you just go into there and you get a load of things here so these are just mods that I've installed pre previously you've got texture packs, um, save, screenshots, that's where your sc screenshots save a um, couple of things in here that aren't in here to start off with, I've installed a couple of things um, don't don't judge. Um, if you know what that is, then you'll know why I'm saying don't judge. Um, but basically, you want to go into your bin. Now, the bin. This is where you install your mods. And um, you see, there's a lot of jar files. If you don't know what a jar file is, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really affect you know how you install this. But basically, you'll see there's lots of versions of Minecraft because I've had Minecraft for quite a while. So basically, what you want to do is find Minecraft executable jar file it's just minecraft not any numbers after it just minecraft and if you've installed um, <clears throat> if you've installed winrar properly when you go to open with so i'll just do that again so you can see whoops you want to right click on it open with and if you've installed it properly you should see winrar archiver you'll see java here but you want to open it with winrar just open that up little thing should come up there all right so we have um, basically this is where the game is this is basically the game all these class files this is all the coding for the game pretty much you now want to open up this and this is your mod okay this is your jar file so this is this is the game you want to install the mod simply just wait no we don't want to do that whoops <laughs> fail and you basically want to click on the top one scroll down hold shift the shift key and it should select all of them once you've done that then you want to drag this into here do not hover over a folder as you may insert it into there you want to just hold it over here 
and you should get this little thing here click OK and it'll basically all these buttons have gone into here now okay so we can close this down we can close this down and I'm gonna go into Minecraft where I'll show you that the mod is successfully installed so I'll be back right, right back guys okay so here we are in Minecraft as you can see it's just normal Minecraft this is just a random world that I opened up and um, as you can see when we press E to open up our inventory we have too many items installed so that was basically my simple tutorial on how to install a mod um, for any kind of normal mod this should be pretty simple and just follow my guide um, if there's any mods where there is a jar involved and there are some mods like single player commands that there will be a jar involved that is something extra then uh, please feel free to get in touch via the comments or private message we always read our private messages and comments and reply to any ones that aren't haters um, so yeah that just get in touch I'm pretty sure I'll be able to sort it out for you um, but if if I can't then I'm sorry but there also should be a readme file within the mod itself so in the WinRAR file if you scroll down it should say readme or something if it is a complicated mod to install so basically all you need to do is take a look through the WinRAR file if you're not if you're a bit stuck there should be a readme if if it is complicated and uh, just follow the readme it'll explain basically what you need to do with the jar file that's in there so if you don't know what I'm talking about then your mod basically just follow my guide so just follow my guide if you get stuck leave a comment um, and check the winner I file for any readme's so that's basically my little tutorial if you found it helpful then a like is always appreciated remember to subscribe for more content like this and let's plays and uh, yeah guys I'll see you in our next video